Not going to move here in the last inning or so. The team was down 2-1 after Orlando Garcia had a sniper home run in the sixth. Then Robbins homered in the bottom of the frame to tie. The Cajuns got the run unearned in the bottom of the seventh to take the lead. Now Hogan Harris back to the mound in the eighth. He's faced four batters, he struck out four batters, and it hasn't been close to any contact. It really hasn't, Fred. It's just hitting. Stay so far for Harris, but that's exactly what you can do if you're a Raider. Harris will spike one to first. His worst throw today was to cross play. <laughs> yeah, great idea by Cora Rayleigh. He almost had to expect it, but with the first four hitters in front of him striking out against Harris, and perfectly placed by Cora Rayleigh. Really no play. No miscommunication between Nick Thurman and his pitcher, Hogan Harris, but well placed, but that gets things going for the Raiders here in the top of the eighth. So Rayleigh representing the tying run, good speed on. Brings up Garcia, the number two hitter, who hit the home run. Way above the high fence in the bullpen area in left center. Kind of a no doubt shot. Right now, if he's been padlocked, he's a little bunt. Or swing the bat. Looks like he's living swing. I would have guessed bunt, but I like the swing, <laughs> yeah. even though the result didn't work out of that pitch. Well, you might see the bunt try here, really. The visiting team is the Texas Tech Red Raiders for the day. I'm trying to go for the tie, but I see a lot of pop that last swing, obviously. One thing's for sure, we've talked a lot about the three, four combination of Steven Smith and Goody Harris, the next two scheduled hitters. The one thing you do not want is a double play from Garcia. He will bunt, and this is a good one. Make Harris field another one, and he does, he gets the out. But Rayleigh, the potential tying runs in swing position with one gone. So the home run slugger is previous at bat to the perfect sack butter on his next at bat. <laughs> Steven Smith 0 for 3, and it's been a tough 0 for 3. His last one you put down in the scorebook as a 1 to 3 play, but he hit a line drive off the back of the pitcher Wyatt Marks who calmly then just picked it up and threw out Smith. Now it is a right call by Tadlock, but now you've got runner score position here with Corey Rayleigh at second base. And three of college baseball's better three hitters coming up here, Smith, Gutierrez, and Nesloni. Smith started the hitting an even 500 with a homer and eight RBI. That went up and in, 2-0. Uh, you see the reaction here. Hogan Harris has not been in trouble, obviously. With the four strikeouts, and lead off butt single by Rayleigh. Now let's see how good he is with runners in scoring position. And gets the strike. Well placed on that outside edge to the dish. One thing is for sure, if I'm Steven Smith, he's a very talented hitter. I love the fact that I have Goody Harris batting behind me. Ripple of this, big touch. Thurman took that baseball back to the mound to hand it to Hogan Harris. Apparently that conversation wasn't good enough, they'll need another. <laughs> Just making sure on the right page or, or changing signals if they think Corey Reddy is giving signs a second. Oftentimes the runners at second base will try to pick the signs from the catcher, signal into his hitter. Always a good reason to go out and change the signs up. Cage is leading by a run, and Smith will wave in this huge second out and strike out number five in relief by Hogan Harris. In a more traditional fashion by Harris there. He just climbs the ladder with three fastballs up in the zone, and Smith can't catch up. Just above his hands, and that's what 95 does for you. Now visit before the cleanup hitter, Eric Gutierrez, will bat. Now, were this a 5-2 game or a 6-2 game? With two outs, a lefty on deck, Gutierrez hitting, he might be tempted maybe to work around Gutierrez, but it's not. He's the potential go-ahead run. Well, that's right. You've got to pitch to him, and now it's just a question of the matchup. Who do you want? 
Looks like Anthony Babineau will make the change here. Going to go on and bring in a right-hander to face the cleanup hitter, Eric Gutierrez. We'll come back. Key moment of this game in the eighth inning. Raging Cajuns clinging to a one-run lead. 